in here, guys. The bottom, I didn't get low iron. For the 75 gallon build. I'm gonna go get the rock. Do it myself. Just have to put the other side up and then tape. Detailed so you guys can do it. So the silicone won't squeeze through. Step by step. Here it comes, say it. In order in which I do the whole build. Here we are, guys. Low iron glass. to point out that this is a series of videos and today's video just isn't about the aquarium build it's also about the process see the difference in the low iron and the regular glass it's less green and I have the board down here this is what I'm gonna lay the base on it's nice and flat and stiff and I'm gonna silicone everything right on here all right let's get into it we are again new project Ready to give me the quote. Johnny, we're back at it again. Johnny D's workshop. This is where they do it. None of this is Starfire. You can see it's got a greenish hue to it. All right, take care. See you, Johnny. Yep. The first step is going to be to put acetone on the edges where I'm going to make contact. The bottom glass, if you notice, let me see if I can get it focused, is dark green. This is not low iron because we're not going to see this. So that didn't matter to me. Just the edges and the sides. I'm going to put some tape along the perimeter of the glass. So when the silicone, if it should squeeze through, it won't stick as much. Just a nice straight piece of three quarter inch plywood. Of course, some of this. Corner clamps, acetone, professional aquarium sealant. Of course, we need a caulking gun. All right, the next step are the clamps and the glass. Now, this is going to be tricky because it just is. <laughs> These pieces I've already acetoned. The front glass is going to be longer than the sides. If you notice down on the bottom, the glass goes on the outside of the footprint, not on top. I've seen too many guys do them on top. That's not a good idea. Maybe a small nano, but not a large tank. So. This is going to go on here. You can see what I did here. I've clamped these down. What I use here, it's just a toothpick. It's the proper thickness that you want the seal to be. It's got to be, if you notice, I'm going all the way down with it. The toothpick as a distance of the gap that the seal will take place in. You also want to make sure that it's level. My plan is this. I'm taking everything that's connected together in the 20 gallon and that'll go in the 75. And I'm taking what's in the six gallon out of the six gallon and putting that in the 75. And here before guys, 15 gallons of freshly mixed reef crystals. I'm going to get the rock from Fish Guy Mike. And I'm going to put it in here. I'm going to put a light over it and we're going to let it cook up for a while. All right, you can see what I've done here now. Everything is attached and it's down to the perfect gaps. See that? The gaps are all the same all the way around. It took me about an hour to do that. Everything has to be level. There's my level. Hey, there. There. You know, if it's not level, we're in trouble. All right, so this next part, guys, is really important. You want to tape the edges of the glass no more than about an eighth of an inch 
away from where the silicone will go into the joint. That's what I'm going to do now on the bottom and on the corners. Been down this road before. No more inside parking. All right, guys, we're at Fish Guy Mike's. New viewers, this is gonna be a treat. Fish Guy Mike runs his stuff out of his garage. I thought he's got his dog and it's a big German Shepherd. It's scary. It's really called Frags Galore. Oh, there's Mike. Frags Galore. <laughs> All right, here we are, guys. Check it out, Mike. Looks good. So this is it, guys, new viewers. This is Frags Galore. Look, it even goes around the corner. That's some clown breeding stations. You got stuff up here. Here's the leather and soft coral emporium. Everything in here. I love coming down here. I didn't know you had bubble tips, Mike. I'm getting these two pieces in here. And Mike's got a large one on the other side. Look at all these frags. Oh man, guys. This is the rock I'm looking at right there. That's a big one. Let's see what that weighs, Mike. Mike only charges $5 per pound for live rock. 20, 28? Yeah. All right. Can we call it 20? Yeah. All right. A long time. Wow. Nice Monty right there with those pieces. All right, so what I do here is I tape these all the way up. They're taped on the inside and on the outside so the silicone won't squeeze through. The bottom is taped and the front and back sides are taped. But what I do is I leave these on this end for stability. And after I silicone this side and all the way down to here, then I'll take the clamps off, put the tape onto the rest of the glass and then silicone that. Is I got one really big piece. Putting this in here, this is 1.025. Can't see the color in here because it's a yellow light in here. That's a fragment from a big piece. This is gonna be the base rock. Look at that piece. That's like 10 pounds right there. So. I'm going to put light over this tub for a while, like a few weeks. It's all taped up, and I'm going to cut this at about a 22 degree angle. Uh, that's not quite 22, <laughs> but I'm not going to do it any more than that. This is clear, by the way, guys. I'm doing all clear in the caulking gun. There's one more thing I wanted to do here, crimping the top, see? So it makes a smaller squeeze point. Here we go. Squeezing it in so there's no bubbles. The most difficult part of this whole job, guys, was the tape job. Run your finger up it because I have the tape on there. So you can see how much I stuck in. Better that then not enough. I have about 10 minutes of working time before this will become skinned. And then I want to peel the tape off before then. All right, there it is, guys. I've taken the clamps off. It's skinned up and set enough so I could take the clamps off, but just to be safe, I put the pieces of tape on the corners and I'm not gonna go near it. The rocks have been in here for about a week and you can see the diatoms forming already, which is a good thing. Let them occur in here before this makes it into the display tank. Here it is, guys, the finished product. Two days after the siliconing, I took it off the board there it is. The next step is the overflow box for the all-in-one.